Earth. Water. Fire. Man. Technology. Artistry. A creation born out of the elements of Earth. We're about to embark on a journey. We're going to take you into the world of fine tableware and give you a glimpse into its innermost secrets. To most people, a dinner plate is, well, a dish, something to eat off of. And crystal stemware, a glass, something to drink from. And of course, they're right. They certainly have a useful purpose. But useful as they are, fine tableware products can also be exquisite to look at. At their best, Fine dinnerware and glassware lend more than a little bit of artistry to the dining experience. Both have their own fascinating origins, dating back thousands and thousands of years. Their histories are rich and intriguing, their secrets cherished and often kept carefully guarded. Throughout the ages, our eating and drinking vessels have been among the most prized possessions and the most coveted treasures on earth. Ceramics have been found in some form in the ruins and artifacts of every ancient civilization. The word ceramic itself comes from the Greek word keremos, meaning burned earth. In its broadest term, ceramics is defined as making any object from clay by baking it. The Chinese are credited with inventing the clay and mineral formula that produced the world's first true porcelain, therefore the name China. Two characteristics of a superior quality fine china body are the high degree of translucency and the clear bell-like sound. While the origin of china was very purposeful, the origin of glass is said to have been accidental. This discovery is widely credited to the ancient Phoenicians. Legend has it that they built a fire on a sandy beach and used the stones to support their cooking pots. The simultaneous action of the fire in the sand and stone caused the fire to spew molten glass. Much later, it was the Egyptians who discovered a way to form molten glass into a bubble by using a blowpipe. The Romans then took this idea a step further, using the pipe to blow molten glass into molds, creating specific shapes. The name crystal comes from the Italian word cristallo, referring to its clarity and transparency. With crystal, the finer the quality, the clearer the crystal, and the clearer the ring. And now, let's visit this intriguing world. The classic film you are about to see dates back many years. Though originally filmed in the 1970s, nothing tells the story better. And though many technological advances have been made over the years, the basic processes you will see here remain the same today as they have for centuries you will see just how precise, arduous, and painstaking these processes are, how much patience and workmanship is involved, and just how rigorous the quality standards are. The Noritake Standard of Perfection. <laughs> 